What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released macOS Ventura 13.1 Beta 3 to developers, and tomorrow they'll hopefully release it to public beta testers. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside of the software. We're gonna take a look at our build number right here. We can see that we still have an E at the end of the build number, which indicates that we still have quite a few betas left to go. Now what is new here in macOS Ventura Beta 3? First thing has to do with the Freeform app. We actually got two more builds from the initial version of Freeform from the last beta. And these changes have to do with fixing the bugs with the text adding and the sticky note adding. As you can see, there's still a little bit of lag, probably because I have all the stuff right here. I can probably just delete it. And it is overall a lot more responsive and better to use. And hopefully this keeps getting built onto. The share button has also been fixed. It is very nice that Freeform is now good. We also got the inclusion of aligning objects inside of Freeform right here. So if we were to go up to a range and then align object, we can now see that we can now align objects here inside of Freeform. The next thing has to do with pages, keynotes, numbers, and text edit. Maybe even other app that utilizes this. If we were to open up one of these programs and then go to a supported folder, usually in iCloud, you can see we now have this new document button right here. So before, this was never here before and not even in list view. And it's still a little bit buggy as you can see it's no longer there, but upon going back and in, you can see that we now have the new document button and this makes things more consistent with iPadOS as the new document button is also in when opening up new documents as well. I don't think Apple is willing to just add the new document button. However, I could see them removing this new document button right here. Oh yeah, and you can also see what script editor does this and automator. The next thing has to do with the weather app inside of macOS. So if we were to take a look right here, this now tints. So if we were to go to somewhere where it's daytime, you can see that this is now blue. It's a lot more noticeable right here, where it's actually blue, whereas this used to be like gray and it looks really bad. But now it looks a lot better and now matches the content around the star and it's really nice. So yeah, if we were to take a look at our feedback app right here and go to the release notes, you can see that we have a brand new known issue right here. So it's basically saying that third party security products used in the endpoint security API might lose full disk access. So hopefully this can get fixed in the next beta. This seems like it's a pretty major issue, especially for organizations that utilize the endpoint security. It looks like we still have one more issue with Freeform where a sticky note or a file might result in an error. So hopefully this also gets fixed. Now if we were to take a look at the clock alarm bug, I'm still having this issue inside of beta 2. Hopefully this does get fixed. As you can see, the app has not been updated. It still remains at 62. I'm going to remember that actually. This has been at 62 for very long time. I just hope that Apple fixes this clock app once and for all. Now what is next for Apple? I say the next thing is going to be iOS 16.2 beta 4 along with macOS 13.1 beta 4. And that's going to release right here on the 22nd right here. So we also have a holiday right here. But I kind of doubt it's going to get pushed back right here. What's probably going to be is that we're going to have a lot less changes inside of beta 5 on the 29th right here. I'm going to go with the 14th right here for the final release to be out. Or the 12th, but I'm going more towards the 14th here. Oh yeah, and if you want access to this post, if you want to edit this post to add some more information like the T2 virtuous version, or if you want to reply with your experience, I will leave this down in the description down below as usual. And whenever I find out when these are fixed, I'll add them to the either remaining or resolved issues. And 18 apps out of all 53 of the supported apps have been updated here inside of Ventura 13.1. So thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, comment down below your experience, reply to the Mac Rumors post, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!